This is a study skills podcast for Fortis Smith School. Podcast 3. Organisation. Everyone has different learning styles and ideas about how best to carry out study. This podcast will deal with two key issues that will help you make the most of your independent study time. Firstly, we must think about the importance of organising time. Think about when you have independent study periods and where you can best spend them. These might include your timetabled study periods at school or the time you have at home to carry out independent study. Creating a schedule will help you organise your time properly. How much independent study are you expected to carry out for each subject? Factor this into your schedule. If you're not sure how much time you ought to be spending on independent study, ask your teacher. Scheduling doesn't mean that you have to take away your freedom. Make sure it also includes time to relax. Be flexible. Evaluate your schedule after a few weeks and change it if you need to. Make sure you are also recording all deadlines properly. This will help you organise your time more effectively. Secondly, we need to consider organising the material you are given or produced during your lessons. Your notes are an essential element of succeeding at A-level, but they will not be very useful unless you can access them easily. Consider what you do with your notes after a lesson. Where do you put them? Do you have a place to store them whilst you are at school? Where do you keep them at home? Organising your notes properly is vital, and there are several ways in which you can do this. 1. Keep them in a folder, dividing different topics by using coloured dividers. 2. Use different folders for different modules so you can easily access material quickly. 3. Create a contents page for the beginning of your folder so you can easily identify where the material you are looking for is in your folder. 4. Write notes for different topics or modules on different coloured paper. For example, your notes for Module A could be written on red paper, and your notes for Module B could be written on blue paper. This will make it really easy to identify which notes belong to which module. 5. Create summary cards once you have come to the end of a topic or module. This will help you quickly check what material belongs to which topic or module. 6. Use highlighter stickers to mark a change in topic or module in your folder. Keeping both your notes and your time well organised is one way of ensuring your independent study is as effective and helpful as possible.